Do you remember that a little while ago I told you there was going to be a call and response psalm? Well, today this is it. It's a psalm that every second line says exactly the same thing. And the version that we know best is, His mercy endures forever. So I'm going to read the first line, and you are going to speak the second line. It goes like this. Give thanks to Adonai, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. To him who alone has done great wonders. To him who skillfully made the heavens. To him who spread out the earth on the water. To him who made the great lights. The sun to rule the day. The moon and stars to rule the night. To him who struck down Egypt's firstborn and brought Israel out from among them with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. To him who split apart the sea of Suf and made Israel cross right through it, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the sea of Suf. To him who led his people through the desert. To him who struck down great kings. Yes, he slaughtered powerful kings. Sihon, king of the Emori. And Og, king of Bashan. Then he gave their land as a heritage. To be possessed by Israel, his servant who remembers us whenever we are brought low and rescues us from our enemies, who provides food for every living creature. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His mercy endures forever. The version in the complete Jewish Bible, it says, for his grace continues forever. His grace and his mercy and his love continue to forever. What do you think might be the theme of the psalm? It's quite simple, isn't it? God's grace, God's love, God's mercy continues forever. Forever and ever. Not just forever, but forever and ever. What a great psalm. Psalm 136.